Well, world title fights happen all over the place these days, and we're in totally Sardinia here as Welcome and Cheetah, the South African on the right of your picture there, defends his world super bantamweight title for the seventh time against Kennedy McKinney in the red trunks on the far side of the ring. The former Olympic gold medalist. Every expectation here of a very good fight indeed between these two. Neither have been beaten in their professional careers so far. Tight, intimate little arena. Referee is Steve Smoger, who's becoming an increasingly familiar figure on the world stage. McKinney with height and reach advantages in the red trunks. And that will pose a few problems for Inchita, but he's a pretty experienced campaigner now. McKinney may just take a little bit of time to settle. Always something to set the butterflies going. Your first chance to win a world title. That's a slip, and nothing more than that by Inchita. But it may just lift McKinney a little psychologically. Never bad to have your man on the floor, even if it isn't actually a count. So far, McKinney hasn't quite found his timing with that left jab of his. And Cheetah just getting in with that short little left and working well to the body as well and getting in with that left hook. We've seen this fellow before on Sky Sports, welcome and Cheetah. When we were over in San Antonio, Texas, he beat Hurley Sneed on that occasion, got quite badly marked up towards the end of the fight. And Cheetah, who had a harder fight than he expected that evening, This could be his toughest one yet. McKinney is a talented man whose career has been blighted by addiction to the drug cocaine, though he claims those problems are now in the past. That's good body punching once again from the South African. Just looks a bit tentative in this opening round, McKinney. One of those body punches from Anchita seemed to just stray low to me there. No warning from Smoger about that, though. And another one. Well, he went for the wild right hand and missed, and McKinney didn't make him pay with a counter. Cheetah not frightened to really let that right hand go. Twice he's missed quite spectacularly with it in this opening round. His body punching has been the feature of this uh, opening session, though, the champion. Closing seconds of the opening round here, and maybe in Cheetah, and that's a good left hook from him, too, to the head. I think he'll have taken this opening session. Well, that wasn't a bad first round at all. It really warmed up in the uh, final minute or so. And then Cheetah, the champion who's unbeaten in 31 contests. The white trunks here. He's got McKinney on the ropes. And that was the punch of the round, really. That left hook in the closing seconds of the first round. McKinney just caught a little open and wanted to hold on for a second or two. the judges at ringside they have to hand in those slips of paper at the end of every round for the uh, supervisor to tot up the scores and that's what they're fighting for the IBF super bantamweight title belt eight stone ten pound division and Britain has uh, a world champion in Duke McKenzie currently but he holds the WBO version of the title Just to remind you, and Cheetah in the white trunks, the champion. There's no doubt that tactically, 
he's been told to go for the body of McKinney, who is pretty lanky for the weight. McKinney's unbeaten so far in 22 contests, 21 wins and one draw. That was a, a technical draw against David Sanchez in 1989 when Sanchez got cut in the second round. So that was a bit of a non-event, really. McKinney hasn't found his timing so far. And then Cheetah has certainly been the first to settle in the contest. Good left hook again from Cheetah. I think already Kennedy McKinney former Olympic golden boy realizes he has a bit of a handful with this South African. Luther Burgess, the trainer who comes in late to handle and cheater for his world title fights, once said he thought his fellow was the best pound for pound fighter in the world. I think uh, possibly that's stretching credibility a little, but he's not half bad. Very busy. He's caught with that left hook there. Occasionally he throws the right hand and leaves himself open to the counter. And McKinney's getting quite marked up around the face already. We'll have a closer look, but it seems to me there might be some sign of damage facially for Kennedy McKinney. So real problems for him in this the second round. champion so busy he's a bit wild at times he's missed with a fair few body punching's been better than the shots towards the head from Anchita oh that's a good stiffening left from McKinney that's his best shot so far and that stopped the champion in his tracks Back they go to their corners. The champion and cheetah, 31 fights unbeaten, 14 by knockout, no defeats at all. Interesting character who could have been a lawyer apparently, but chose professional boxing instead. He's from a religious poor family. A family don't even have a car, and he does his training in an unlit schoolroom. And Cheetah has come through the hard way, only the second ever black South African to become a world champion. Just catching the right hand there from McKinney and one to the body too in that second round. And look at McKinney's face there by the right eye. It's already swelling up a bit, isn't it? After his drug problems, he was ordered to go to a rehabilitation clinic. McKinney had a six-month ban from boxing. And Bob Arum, who guides his career promotionally, sent him off into the Nevada desert, miles away from any temptations to do his training. McKinney, the one in the red shorts, just to remind you. been an awful lot of air shots in this fight so far you can really tire a fighter to keep on throwing punches that don't find their target they've both been guilty of that and Cheetah almost for the first time just choosing to box on the outside for a little the old jab and move tactics. 
be that profitable against a man with height and reach advantages like this, but uh, he's doing it for a while anyway. See how it goes. Good right hand, McKinney. Punches here from the ex Olympic champion. Just seemed a bit stiff, a bit rigid early on, understandably, on a big night for him, McKinney, but maybe just starting to settle now. fight isn't it third round here Good left hook from and cheetah was told by referee Steve Smoger to keep the punches up one of them straight low he keeps doing that he's liable to get a point deducted he's been uh, guilty more than once it's the first time that Smoger's picked him up for it last 10 seconds of the third round here and Cheetah's come back well in the closing stages of it. Lots of grease there. The cuts, men, are absolutely vital in the corners. Of course, if you've got a bad one, you could really be in trouble. If you get a good one, he can actually be worth the victory. And sometimes make the difference. Cheetah, the champion, making his seventh defense in the white shorts. That's a decent left hook again from the American. And Cheetah being made to miss a fair bit. has to be McKinney's best tactics in this fight is to use those height and reach advantages and work behind the jab on the way in and set up the right hand and that's starting to work with uh, increasing consistency for him and Cheetah is wild with that left hand he's missing an awful lot with it Finding it difficult to find a way in the champion at the moment. And when he does get in range, McKinney looking to let go with the combinations. Quiet round so far, though, in all honesty. The main scoring weapon that insistent left jab at the challenger. Decent, wasn't it? That jolted and cheater a little bit. Took the punch well, in all honesty. But a classy shot from Kennedy McKinney. He dreams tonight of becoming a world champion after four years in the professional game. His round so far, I think, no question about it. This one. Cheetah has found it difficult to get into range from most of this round, and McKennedy McKinney has been the boss in that fifth round. In this? He's a real tough little man. He can go southpaw on occasions as well, and Cheetah. 
usually orthodox as he has been tonight. They touch gloves sportingly as they come out for the seventh. I still have Anchita just ahead in this, but not by much. Oh, that's a good shot from the South African. McKinney just needing to get a little bit more mobile and a wee bit busier too. He's let his work rate drop off over the last four minutes or so. Not worked so well behind that jab. And just gone to sleep in the fight. A shade, McKinney. He'll have to step it up again if he wants this world title because Anchita will just keep coming at him and throwing out his punches like that. McKinney's successes more sporadic, but has he been stung into a new period of activity? Two left hooks from Inchita. One seemed to hit the gloves, the other certainly got through. Oh, he put so much into that left hook, Inchita, that the sheer momentum took him to the floor afterwards. That's what I meant when I said he's going for broke with them. He's giving the air a terrible beating with some of those lefts. This is the period of the fight where all those long pre-dawn training runs that fighters do come in handy. All the hours spent in the gym in preparation over six or seven weeks before the fight. This is where you need the endurance and the fitness and the conditioning. It's about a little spell for McKinney after Anchita had started the world round very well. Again, that little chopping right to the side of the head. That's been his best weapon, really, McKinney. Other than his jab. This is good work from McKinney here. Setting up and Cheetah with the jab. Right hands, too. And what a good round this is. Terrific stuff. Well, that really was a superb round of world championship boxing. And Cheetah, so busy for the first minute and a half of the round. And McKinney looking a little bit lethargic. But how well Kennedy McKinney came back in the second half of the round. I would have scored that even, I think, over that. Missing with the sweeping left hook come up, uppercut McKinney. But finding the target with the jab and the right hand that followed it up. This was some of his best work of the round. But this Anchita is a real little buzzsaw. He never stops working. There's the... The worldwide media working ringside. Coverage of these world title fights going out all over the world. Eighth round and Cheetah the champion in the white trunks and a tough defense here against Kennedy McKinney, the unbeaten American. Cheetah was reckoned to have a very tough defense last time out against Jesus Salud in April in the WBA. Well, Salud was a former WBA champion, and, uh, and Cheetah won that quite comfortably on points. Good performance from him.
time out against Jesus Salud in April in the WBA. Well, Salud was a former WBA champion, and uh, and Cheetah won that quite comfortably on points. Good performance from him. Reese, very evident by that uh, little cut around the right eye of McKinney. But it hasn't got appreciably worse. Corner have done a good job. Both scoring with the left hooks. And McKinney coming on a bit strong. that the two fighters are just starting to tire as they've every right to do who wants this most now McKinney has turned the tables again has found another gear over the last part of the seventh round and during this eighth too So busy. Last few seconds of the round, and McKinney's done well in this one. <laughs> Steve Smoger collecting the Slips of paper from the three judges to hand to the supervisor. Now the cornermen have to lift McKinney now. You shouldn't take too much lifting. If you can't get motivated for your first world title opportunity, there's not too much hope. Good jab from McKinney. He came back to life in that round. Couple of body shots as well. As you can see, not everything finding the target. The right did, didn't it? Round nine. Four to go. McKinney's corner are shouting out, he's tired now, he's tired now. But is Anchita tired? I should think McKinney's thinking, I'm pretty damn tired too. For McKinney, he'd love the same again in this round as in the last one. I have this very close indeed, in fact, even after the eighth round. It's been like a lot of good fights, this one, with several moods to it. Both fighters having little periods where they've been on top, but then the plot has changed again each time, and you wonder what more is in store. McKinney has a more confident look about him, though, at the moment. And Cheetah, what a warrior he is.
both men proudly protecting their unbeaten records something's got to give in this one unless of course we have a draw damaging looking rights from McKinney and Cheetah's walking into a few on the way in at the moment McKinney's corner are screaming at him don't let him do that don't let him trap you on the ropes like that McKinney looks better when the fight is at range with that reach advantage proving very handy for him there has been the theory about Kennedy McKinney with his drug problems in the past that he's become old in boxing terms before his time he has things to prove to the boxing public. There's no doubt about that, McKinney. Is he the business or isn't he? He's giving a pretty good account of himself here now. As those scorecards are collated, the one thing that could work against McKinney fighting in Sardinia against a Cedric Kushner fighter on a Cedric Kushner promotion is that uh, it's always conceivable that the scorecards might not do him too many favours. That's just a reality of life. It's uh, When you're all fighting a house fighter anywhere, there's the feeling that you have to get the job done in fairly emphatic fashion can we have a peek please no now 10th round for the IBF super bantamweight title at 8 stone 10 pounds and it's been an absorbing battle between challenger Kennedy McKinney in the red welcome and cheetah in the white trunks but Certainly in some danger here of surrendering the title that he's held since March 1990 when he beat Fabrice Benichou to become the champion. getting busy again at the start of this round that was a good looking left hook that got through is there going to be another swing of the pendulum we've seen McKinney have a good spell suddenly the time of the fight where the champion does need to come on strong a bit And again, that left hook, and again, bad moments for McKinney. It's a real test of a fighter's character, guts, spirit, heart, call it what you like. Because McKinney, McKinney's thrown a lot of good shots at this champion, and now here he is again, coming back once more at him. It's often the way, though, if you want to win tough, grueling fights like this one, you have to keep on going back to the well. All that right hand thudding through. I think that shook McKinney up a little bit. He's on his bike. He's having to give ground. And suddenly, in this round, and Cheetah looks strong again, and McKinney more vulnerable. His hands dropping, and there's a more bemused look on his face. Is this a pivotal point in the fight, you wonder? These punches that Anchita is finding now seem to be having more effect challenger. 
Last few seconds of this 10th round. Body punching from Intruder. He's had a big round here. Come back really strong in this one. McKinney under fire. Well, this is boiling up terrifically now. Well, the two corner men shouting out advice to their charges. Terrific action in that run, and Cheetah scores with the right hand. And he really did throw an awful lot of leather at McKinney, and there you see McKinney just a bit unsteady on his legs, and the round and the end of it couldn't have come too soon. McKinney marked up, but no worse than he was earlier on. 11th round. And my scorecard and Cheetah has just edged back in front again. And he'll look to keep up that furious pace he set in the 10th. Body shots raining in, right hand, left hook. Oh, and McKinney seems to have walked away. And is he quit? Did he quit there? Smoger is going to give him a count there. He just walked away, and it looked to me like he was throwing in the towel. He gets the count, a standing count, and then Cheetah now is looking to finish the job. McKinney looks all out. He may not have a lot left. And Cheetah is closing in for another successful defence. He looks strong now. McKinney bravely finding the punches to come back. He did look as if he turned his back and quit. That was a bit of a reprieve for him, quite honestly. And some referees might have called a halt there. Well, McKinney brave enough here he's finding the punches again to come back into the contest this is some comeback from him hasn't Cheetah just punched himself out for the moment right hand from McKinney there was a good shot and I think that just momentarily dazed and Cheetah Tremendous round, this. Oh, look at that right hand from McKinney. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The man looked finished a minute ago. I don't think Anchita's going to get up. Steve Smoger bellowing the count at him. But he's not hearing it, I don't think. It is over in astonishing fashion. And Kennedy McKinney is the new IBF super bantamweight title welcome and cheetah has been beaten for the first time in 32 contests and you would have bet a lot of money against that ending even 60 seconds before it happened mckinney appeared to have turned his back on and cheetah he walked away some refs might have stopped it right there steve smoger let it go on and cheetah punched himself out a little and McKinney found an absolute sledgehammer of a right hand to scramble the champion's senses. And he didn't really have a hope of recovering from it. Amazing stuff. In Tortoli Sardinia, it was a good enough fight before that. It turned into a sensational one. Nobody will be asking for their Lira back. Now, watch this again. And Cheetah is piling on the pressure. Oh, look at that low blow from him. Steve Smoker didn't appear to see that. It was very low, wasn't it? Right hand. McKinney is under fire. Survival just appears to be the name of his game. And then, bang! Good night. Lights out. All over.
incredible stuff.